hi guys so welcome back to my channel for another banging and entertaining video <laughs> period so today um we all know that we lost our president jerry john rollins and it's been a very sad week for us because he's been laid, laid in state today and the burial rites and funeral rites are going on and all that but today something came up a lady came out a 52 year old lady whose name is allegedly abigail rollins who found out that rollins is actually her dad like she found out in 2002 after um she had allegedly said she'd been seeing the man in his in her dreams so she confronted her mom who happens to be late now the mom is is, is already gone and she confronted her mom and told him and then asked her mom that why do i keep seeing this man in my dream what is the whole correlation of the relationship between me and this man so that was when the woman told um her daughter but it's allegedly allegedly that um the woman grew up in adabraka and then the woman actually didn't know that rollins was actually um her, her her dad and she didn't even grow up with her mother she grew up with some old woman in adabraka and and so on so um, later when she found out that rollins is actually the dad she started going to um the village in which um rollins is from and when when immediately she got to the house it's alleged that that people saw her and said she actually looks like the father you know so the family members actually accepted to um for her to be coming around and all those things she also said that during the um, rollins's mom's funeral um she stayed in the family house for apparently for a week you know when we we're actually having the funeral rites and everything and the family members wanted to take her to go and introduce her to rollins and the wife but the abigail rollins allegedly stopped them and said they shouldn't do it but um they should wait till after the, the burial issues are over because the woman was still lying in state you know which i agree with her because it's not a funeral that you're going to introduce me to somebody who has never seen me before but it's also alleged that when rollins found rollins found out about her and he even sent money through someone to give to her to actually use to start something but again it could be that rollins was just doing that to help her out it could be so this woman's mom is a togolese and it's alleged that um mommy dokun even knows about this because the woman at one point went to mommy dokun's place and actually told her that rollins is actually her dad but mommy dokun cautioned her and told her that it's not it's not you shouldn't just get up and make accusations like that you have to have proof and if you keep saying these things around somebody could actually harm you so the woman was advised by Mamie Dokuno to go to Togo. So Mamie Dokuno even gave her a little money for her to go back to Togo. So that when she was in Togo, still she wasn't feeling right. So she used to go to Rollins' family house and for them to know her if anything happens, like any issues they, they, they hear, um, they, she, she goes there. This 52-year-old woman, if she's really Rollins' child, then she's actually the oldest child of Rollins. You know? And... All for to her, all she wants Lens's kids to just accept her and for her for her to for her to be part of the family. That's what she says she wants to. But again, they just accept it right now. She just starts making demands. Human beings that you can't really trust them. So just look at this video. Like this video came up like not too long ago, about ten hours ago, and this is what happened at Jerry John Rollins' funeral. <laughs>
look at that like cause unnecessary scene making noise saying that she wants to go and she, well, she wants to go and i think she wanted to go and see the body or something like that because you can't just come from nowhere at one point in time and come and start shouting oh, this is my dad and you expect everybody to be okay with that that's just not right but there again if Roland is actually the dad and then this is the last time for her to see her dad laid in state and then they're not even allowing her to do so then it's not it's not it's not fair to her at all so just allow this person go and see this 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 body and after the whole thing people can just address the situation but don't just help the woman to cause a scene hey, when the woman got there it was a scene like even the police people and the all the social people wanted to get her away from charlie and it's, i don't feel she came there to make a scene i don't think so nobody would want to go and make any any scene but the whole point is that you people are judging saying that she may not be the child or she, that she may be an imposter and what, what what not the fact that you don't know about the fact that she's probably Rollins's child doesn't mean that she can't be Rollins's child because when you look at her a little there's a little bit of resemblance so. in life eh, eh, if you give birth to a child and then the person tells you to hash it after some few years please don't hash it anymore because right now this woman's mother is dead and if this woman had not told the child who the father was it would have been a whole, like a whole mess oh. like hey what don't hash don't hash these things for long probably you will hash it for some few years like one two three years four years stops and later you make sure the families families know that your child this child belongs to this family so that when you are when you're not around the child will not be found wanting and trying to seek attention trying to seek approval from people like you don't wait for them for for the person's father or something to die that's what i mean i always say no matter no matter if there's any problem krana my child must know his family his father's side he must know his family's side father's side because i can't be selfish and hash it out because it would affect my child like you don't do that you don't just do things to affect your children like that you don't keep things a secret by saying that oh um they may kill they may kill who and this woman is now walking around trying to get people to support her going on radio such had been to atenka fm atika tv or so they said that they will not air, air the thing when the whole thing happened around 2002 late after some few years she went to atenka and other stations and they said they do not air it because she doesn't have paternal test proof and all those things and the whole thing is that this woman has been fighting for a paternal test like she's been fighting for blood test and i don't know why nobody has come forward to grant this woman a blood test all she needs is a relative that is all for them to do this blood test so that we know that if she's actually Rollins's child or not because this woman has been doing her health insurance cards and all her cards and documentation with the surname Rollins, abigail Rollins. so if you people don't really like really feel that she's telling a lie why don't you just grant her a paternal test it won't take up to a week for this paternal test to come out so that this woman can have actual like can have peace of mind because when this woman an only child this woman um now her, her mother died now her father has died so it makes her an orphan um she was married before and had a child and then the child and um, the child's father died and then she remarried and now she has she had two more kids so now she has three kids now you understand she's probably looking for aunties and, uh, and uncles for her children if you feel that she's she's not your blood just grant her the test so that if, she, if she's not then you all know that she's an imposter but don't be don't be harsh about it don't be quiet about it and then don't, don't let this woman go through what, what she's going through because right now the man is dead and gone and now people are everybody's giving, making up their story everybody's they're making up issues everybody's saying what saying they're saying that eh and this woman to you too you didn't you, you decided not to wait for the month for not to be over before causing this scene eh before causing this scene we know that we all know papa j we're going to love papa j he had a side but we're going to love him you understand so at least we should just have a peaceful barrier for this man a peaceful, a peaceful barrier for this legend is that too much to ask Oh. anyway so today i was supposed to drop this video but i just decided to drop it so tell me what you think okay and i hope you enjoyed it please subscribe if you haven't subscribed please like please share i beg you share to meet again it's been time with first lady bye for now